My name is Joseph Peck. I am a white man. I have brown hair and I'm wearing gray pants and a green shirt. I am in my music studio. Behind me is a drum set and percussion instruments. To the sides of me are steel drums. Today we are going to learn about music through a scavenger drum circle. Today's lesson is going to explore percussion, the Caribbean engine room, making our own instruments, and learning the rhythmic scale. So what is percussion? Percussion instruments are instruments that you strike, hit, or shake to produce a musical tone. So for example, I have a djembe drum here. A djembe is played with the hands. A shaker is another percussion instrument that I would shake. Did you know that a piano is also a percussion instrument? When you play a key on a piano, there's a hammer that hits a string, making it a percussion instrument. And this instrument right here is known as the steel drum. striking the steel drum with mallets and the vibration of the metal produces the tone. By striking it, it's a percussion instrument. What is the Caribbean engine room? These are the percussion instruments that would accompany a steel drum band. One of the most important instruments in a steel drum band is this instrument, the brake drum. See the brake drum? is really a brake drum from a car. And this brake drum from the car is played with two sticks. When you play an instrument to produce musical sounds, they're called percussion instruments. Taking any object, such as even a coffee can, and playing it like a musical instrument makes it a musical instrument, a percussion instrument. Now that we know what percussion and the Caribbean engine room is, let's make our own instruments. To do this, you're going to need to go on a scavenger hunt through your house to find the items for your instrument. So for a shaker, you can use a tube, paper towel roll, toilet paper roll, or an empty vitamin bottle. Either one will work. And then you'll need some beans or some lentils. I like to use the lentils. And then if you have some construction paper to decorate your shaker afterwards, that will be good too. Tape, as well as some glue. For making your drum, you can use a can, or a box for making the drum. So go ahead and pause the video and go and find the supplies you need with adult supervision and bring them back so that we can make our instruments together. Okay, great. So let's start with the shaker. So we're gonna use some lentils here. And I already pre-taped um, the one side, but if you're paper towel roll, you can even cut it in half. If it, you gotta have to tape the one side, which I already did on this side, before you pour in your lentils. Pour in your filler. And then what you'll need to do is you'll need to tape it because you do not want the lentils or the beans to fall out. And then I would take a more piece of tape around. You want to make sure you get it very secure so that no filler comes out. Okay, so there's the shaker. You need to take some construction paper and decorate the sides. Going just like this, rolling it, and then putting a little bit of glue on it. Okay. On each end. If you have a vitamin bottle, go ahead and just pour some of your filler in. Put the 
cap back on. Okay. And there's vitamin bottle shaker. To make a drum, you need a, you could use a box. I have a box here. And now it has an opening here. You're going to want to cover it with maybe another piece of uh, cardboard and or some tape. And that's what I did with this box right here. I covered it with paper. And then how a box would sound. Now, you could use a coffee can instead. And with the coffee can, you just have to make sure it's empty and you have one side open and one side not open. Here's a coffee can where I have the lid there. I take it off. Or I could put the plastic lid on and play it. Coffee can drum or a box drum. Either one will work as your drum. Now that you have your box drum made, how do we play it? Well, the center would be the bass tone. And the edges with the fingertips would be the open tone. Open tone. So you get bass, open, bass, open. Now that we've made our instruments, let's learn the rhythmic scale. The rhythmic scale is four rhythms. Thome, Ta, Taka, and Takadimi. We have a cowbell here keeping a steady pulse. That's our Ta rhythm. I also like to think of it as the walking rhythm. Okay? That's that heartbeat. Okay? Now, thome is one, two, ready, and thome. Lots of space for thome. And then ta. And then taka is our third rhythm. We go like this. Ta, 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 ta. And our fourth rhythm, ta, 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 ta. Four, three, two, one, ta. So let's play that together from thome to ta, ta to taka, taka to taka dimi, taka dimi back to taka. Taka to ta and return to the thumb. Okay? So here we go. One, two, ready, and go. To the ta, two, three, and go. And go. To the taka, one, two, a one, two, ready, Now that we have our shakers made, how do we play it? The easiest way for me is to think of an imaginary line. So I have a stick here, and to go over the line, back, and under the line, back, and over, back, under, back, out, back, out, back, out, back, out, back. And the rhythm is taka dimi. So taka dimi, taka dimi, taka dimi, taka dimi, to the pulse. Four, three, two, one, seven. So now that we've learned the rhythmic scale, let's have an engine room jam. So if you have a shaker, why don't you just play along, jam, groove along to the, to the rhythm.
Or on your drum, play on your drum. If you don't have a drum, you can always just play on your lap. So here's our pulse. Think of, think of the pulse as the heartbeat. Relax, play from your heart. Feel the beat. And just keep moving your hands. Thank you for joining me today in the Scavenger Drum Circle. I hope to see you next time.